Europe in the early 18th century. It is the age of the Baroque. Imposing buildings bear witness to the ruler's claim to absolute power. Only a small upper class is allowed to take part, the aristocracy who live extravagantly at the cost of the common folk. Most people live in poverty and have nothing to say. Yet, little by little, a new spirit changes the world. The spirit of the Enlightenment. Scientists are the new heroes. They decrypt the wonders of nature by and by. Everything old is now called into question. The light of knowledge and reason also shines upon such young monarchs as Frederick II of Prussia. He seeks to be an enlightened king, the first servant of his state. On the one hand, that's the duty for this monarch to exercise his rule for the good of his subjects. On the other, he is thereby given a colossal freedom, namely to shape the state as he deems necessary, for the good of all. Frederick introduces reforms for the welfare of his subjects, but mainly to fill the state treasury. The impetus behind all reforms was basically war. Money was needed to wage war. For war is still a political tool. The focus is on power and fame, devoid of all reason. Frederick wants Prussia to become a great power at any cost, but he has fierce adversaries, the most important of whom is a woman, Maria Theresa of Austria. Both rulers are united in an unconditional desire for power and the conviction that a strong state needs reforms. 